Meet Amy Pandison. Amy has two kids, Tucker and Jane. Tucker is in the eighth grade and loves world history. Jane is in the third grade and enjoys science projects. Their school uses Canvas to facilitate student learning. Amy wants to be involved in her kids' education, not to do it for them, but to help them be successful and build confidence as learners. Amy wants to check their grades, view assignment due dates and the instructions, follow Amy and Tucker's calendars, and communicate easily with teachers. Amy hears about the Canvas Parent app in an email from the school. Both kids' teachers use Canvas and want to make sure parents can easily stay connected. Amy searches for Canvas Parent in the App Store for her mobile device. After it downloads, Amy searches for her school district in the search bar. When she finds it, she then sees the option to sign in. Amy does not have her own Canvas account yet, so she selects Parents of a Canvas User, Create Account. She enters her name, her email address, and creates a password, but does not have a student pairing code. Tucker creates a pairing code from his account by opening his account settings from the global navigation bar. He selects Pair with Observer and gives that code to Amy. She can now see Tucker's classes and grades on the app's home screen. Jane is still in elementary school, so Amy gets her pairing code from Jane's teacher and easily adds it on the app. Now Jane is all set up with the Canvas Parent app as her sidekick in supporting her kids' education. To make sure she stays up to date on both kids' accounts, Jane sets up her alerts and notifications. On her phone or tablet, Amy selects Manage Students and then selects Tucker. She sets her preferences on when and about what she would like Canvas to alert her. She does the same for Jane. As Amy finishes choosing her notification settings, Jane comes bounding into the house without the coat she was wearing when she left for school. On the app, Amy opens her inbox, selects Jane's class, and sends a quick message to Jane's teacher about the missing coat. That night, before sitting down to dinner, Amy checks Tucker's classes and grades. He's doing pretty well. She also checks the calendar and notices that Tucker has a test coming up in a few days, and then helps Tucker organize his notes and create a study plan after dinner. She notices in her alert section an announcement about a field trip to the local museum for Tucker's world history class, and a request for volunteer parent chaperones. Amy sends a quick message through the Canvas inbox to volunteer as a chaperone. Amy glances at the calendar and notices that Jane has a science project coming up. She looks at the assignment and notices a list of supplies and instructions for how to submit the assignment. Amy sets a reminder to buy the supplies. That night, Jane sits at the computer with Amy and they make a plan for Jane's project. Later that week, Amy helps Jane finish the project and helps her submit before the due date. After a long week of extracurricular activities, Amy sees a notification on her Canvas Parent app about a missing assignment in one of Tucker's classes. She reads the instructions posted on Canvas and asks Tucker how she can help him complete the assignment. That night, Amy sits with Tucker and helps him upload a picture to submit his assignment. Even though the assignment is still flagged as late and Tucker lost some points, it's still turned in for grading. Like Amy Pandison, you can also support your students' learning and know what's going on in their academic lives. You can download it for free in your App Store. You can also log on to Canvas as an observer through your web browser. Also, check out the Canvas guides for observers in the Canvas community.